Welcome to our home on Mount Princeton. We are at 9,000 feet in central Colorado. It's an amazing place to live, share, write, and work. These conversations are coming to you through the gifts and graces of three people. Julie Callahan is the one who came up with the idea to do the videos. Bob Campbell is program director of CAHEN, which is the community radio station in our wondrous area near the Arkansas River. And we are grateful for his gifts, strengths, competencies in this venture. The third person is yours truly. In this conversation, I would like us to visit about the fourth child. The fourth child. I was helping a grouping of people, having a good time, we were making excellent progress. We could begin to see a strong, healthy future before us. And sort of in one of the byway conversations, I overheard uh, one of the leaders talk about his fourth child. I became interested. And in a break, uh, he is the father and his wife, the mother, and I had a remarkable conversation. Their fourth child was in fourth grade and not doing well at all. I said, well, tell me about it. Well, they had had a firstborn child who was doing well. And then they had twins who were doing well. And then they had their fourth child, who at that point in his life was in fourth grade and not doing well. Some few weeks before, his parents, his teacher, and the principal gathered in a planning session and they determined that the best way forward to help this fourth child do better in school is the following. And they said to him, as a group, you will come home from school at three o'clock, go directly to your room, you will close the door, you will have no radio, no television, and you will do your homework. And if it comes dinner time and you have not finished your homework, you will miss dinner. And if it comes time bedtime and you have not finished your homework, you will go to bed. And young man, we're going to do this every day from now on until you get it right. I, I said in a good natured way to the mother and the father, how long have you been doing this? Oh, we've been at it for about three, four weeks. I said, well, how well is it going? Dr. Callahan, it's not going well at all. I said, well, the plan you prescribed works really well for a firstborn who are high challenge, individual learner types. And both of you are firstborn, high challenge, individual learner types, and so is the principal, and so is the teacher. And as your fourth child were a firstborn and had the motive of high challenge and was an individual learner, he would do well. It is not going to work. What you have taught him is to not look forward to coming home from school at three o'clock. 
no fun to come home. Well, what should we do? So, well, if it were me, I would find a tutor who is a social learning tutor, not an individual learning tutor. I would find a tutor who has good fun and good times. And I'd find his two best friends. And on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 3 o'clock, that group would gather in his upstairs bedroom. The tutor, the two good friends, and your fourth born son. And if you hear lots of noise and laughter and carrying on, what that's teaching you is there's a high rate of learning going on. So don't go up and tell them to be quiet. Your son is a social learner. His motive is community, not challenge. He'll do well if you will give him the gift of Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with his two best friends and the social learning tutor. Not everybody learns the way you and I learn. People learn the way they best learn. The motive out of which they learn is the motive that matches with them, not with you. So you can give it a go. Not a, nothing else is working right now. Well, we'll give it a go. Some weeks passed. I got a note. Followed by a phone call of great excitement. Report cards had come out for that term of the year. Their son was doing well. They were overwhelmingly ecstatic. They were grateful for the wisdom I had shared with them. I said, good friends, be grateful for the wisdom you have had to give it a go. Think about the ways people learn. Think about the motives out of which people learn. Be an encouraging spirit. Have fun. God bless you. Welcome, Julie, Bob, and I invite you to have the fun of benefiting from my newest book, Freedoms, Grassroots, Hope. You can discover the book through Amazon.com and you can have the benefit of either Kindle or soft cover edition. You will find the book extraordinarily helpful in your life and in the lives of your friends and family, work associates and community. We're discovering the wide ranging ways in which people all across the planet are having fun of benefiting from this newest book. We encourage you to discover it, benefit from it today. God bless you. God be with you. Have fun.